Okay, I have 20 minutes until I need to leave for school. Um, I hope the lighting is terrible. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it down here instead then. Hello, we are in my entrance way. And I just wanted to do like a quick little intro thing for this video. Because I filmed this entire video in a like vlog style thing. But I really feel like when I'm going through all of this. Also, by the way, this is a pimple patch. And that's a pimple patch. If you're wondering what's on my face. Um, I really feel like when I'm going through this entire video. Um, <laughs> it was a little bit like messy. And like it wasn't clear to understand what I wanted. And what my plan was. So... I'm just here in the beginning to give you a quick plan, um, what's happening, what's going on, yeah, and then we'll go into the vlog style. Um, but basically, my plan for this sweater is, of course, I wanted to make like a raglan style sweater because I'd never made one before, and I really wanted to make one in granny squares. And I had this um, yarn that I really need to use up. Um, in like another project that I knew I was never going to finish so I started unraveling that project and rolling all of that together and that was the yarn I started this project with um, in the beginning I only had the colors of like um, a brown and beige or like a light brown whatever you want to call it I started out by doing the cuffing for the neck and then working the yoke of the body um, and after that I just work the body and then each sleeve of course and yeah, um, the yarn I'm using for this project is Amigo XL from Hobie and I used a 5mm crochet hook so I think that's all the info you need and now we can go into the more vlog style and I'll meet you back here in a second or however, <laughs> I'll meet you back here once the whole vlogging part of me making this sweater is over and show you how the sweater ended up looking, the reveal. But yeah, past storm, take it away. Hello, hi, and welcome to this vlog. I hope you can hear me, the window is open. I should probably close it because I'm getting sick. So the plan for this vlog is um, we're gonna crochet. And um, the weather is finally becoming fall in Denmark, which is so exciting. See, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of knitting, but I'm gonna focus in this video on me crocheting. So we're gonna work on a sweater in fall colors, cause finally, finally, I really need a cup of tea. And I really wanna drink my energy drink, but also I wanna wait to drink my energy drink till I get to school, cause also I have classes this week. I'm just gonna take a shower, get ready. Um... Yeah. This is me, this is I, I'm ready. Oh yeah, I want the tea and breakfast, and then I need to make lunch. quick little update um like you saw yesterday i was in bed all evening my boyfriend did the cleaning because i am feeling terrible i was like oh let me just do something productive i only had energy to do like one set of nails so and they look shitty as well but i don't have the energy to do the other hand so now i'm just gonna 
Ugh. But I did do a bunch of crocheting yesterday. I'm not going to school today. Because uh, I have no energy, like, at all. But I did a bunch of crocheting yesterday. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not feeling good. Perfect timing to, like, start a vlog when I'm feeling this shitty. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stay in bed. I put on, like, um, be gay, do crime shirt. So I'm feeling nice about that. Otherwise, I'm just probably just gonna crochet and, like, watch YouTube and, like, feel terrible. I'm sorry, this is a horrible start to the vlog, but it's reality. And now I have one set of okay looking nails. Maybe I have energy to do the other set later. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm gonna sleep now. So it's really dark in the room and I have a one realized that I am not gonna be able to finish this with the amount of yarn that I have luckily it's Hobie I can just go to the Hobie store um, I'm from Denmark so I I can just go to the Hobie store I'm gonna probably do that on Saturday and then I'll be able to finish this because um, this after rolling up that uh, other project this is how much yarn I have, and um, it's not that much, it's not enough for an entire like sweater. Okay, I hope you can see me despite it being so dark in here. I could turn on some light, but we only have like a table light in here, we haven't put up an actual light, so it probably wouldn't matter. Okay, this is how it's looking so far. Personally, I think it's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be such a nice fall sweater. Um, but I'm just made myself like some vegetable noodles. Can you stop folding up in the back? I just made myself some nice vegetable noodles um, that I'll go eat. But yeah. It's gonna be really cute once it's done. I think I might have made a little bit too tight under the arms. But that's gonna... Actually, I think it's gonna be fine as soon as I add everything. And I'm not wearing a t-shirt underneath. Um, yeah. I'm so sick, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna do knitting now. Okay. Before I say literally anything, let me just fix that. Before I say anything, um, look at this. I'm at my mom's. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna go buy some yarn. But look at this. My mom has this like um, I don't know what it's called in English, but in Denmark it has like the nickname of like a butterfly bush, butterfly bush, butter, butterfly bush. Butterfly bush. Um, translated, of course. <laughs> In summer fools busk. That's the Danish version. But yeah, I just took some cute videos of the butterfly butterflies enjoying the bush. So please enjoy some uh, pretty pretty little videos of the bush while I'm talking. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so. But the raglan I'm making, I definitely don't have enough yarn. So we're quickly gonna go drive and get some more yarn. Um, yeah, I'm. It's going by so fast. It's like crazy how fast a granny stitch raglan goes by. Um, definitely recommend it. But yeah, so we're quickly gonna go and buy some more yarn, and uh, I might have a look at some other yarn for another project that um i really want to do um okay okay let's drive get ready 
Okay, look at this. Rum rum. Breaking myself down. Breaking myself down. Being too blind. home or not home but at my mom's place and I'm so tired I just ate and I didn't like the food that I made but I ate like half of it anyway and I'm mad because it didn't taste like how I wanted it to taste if I made this with the other kind of like fake chicken that I really like it would have been perfect amazing I would have loved it but because I used another brand the no likey anyway um, let's look at the yarn I bought. Not all of it, because some of it is for a different project that you'll see in the future. Um, no spoilers here! Okay, so let's start by pulling up the project. The, here is she. This is her. Now, I bought, I think, four skeins for this project. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. We'll figure that out at some point. Um, I bought another of this blonde that hopefully kind of matches. Of course, I bought this yarn a long time ago, so it's 100% <laughs> a different dye lot than what this is. But I think this light one matches almost perfectly. That's a little bit of like... I think this one is warmer, um, but hopefully it doesn't matter. Still like the same kind of color. Um, then I bought the same brown, it, or it was supposed to be the same brown, but like... It might just be me, but I think these two browns look really different. <laughs> Again, that might just be me, but I just... I don't know, something about them, I feel like they're like... Really different. But again, might just be me and my brain playing tricks on me. I bought two of these. And one of these. The fourth one is an entirely new color. It's like a more dusty beige is that I think would be like a really cool addition to this. It's like change it up a little bit so it's not just two colors, but then I add this one. Because I was thinking about maybe adding black or gray to it, but I was like, oh, it's going to be way too different. But I'm thinking maybe if I add this, that's a little bit of like a third color. So this is the yarn I bought to finish this project. Um, I've already started working on the body. So I'm gonna keep the old stuff close by. Because um, when I start on the sleeve, I wanna... I Hopefully I remember to use the old yarn for the first two or three rows, whatever. However much there is left of this so like yes it might be different dye lots so yeah it might be different dye lots but everything should still line up and if you're asking me that's the most important thing okay so I'm just gonna sit down and work on this and I still don't know how long I want the body to be right now it's like really short it doesn't even cover the chesticles but yeah we'll figure that out <laughs> I'm gonna watch YouTube. So yeah, time for a little speed up video while I watch YouTube. Can you? And updated the RSV. Since gendered language was a... place again. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on this one. I did the bottom ripping. Oh my god, what the I did the bottom ripping and I started on a sleeve. And let me just try it on for you real quick while I talk about it. 
Come look at me getting undressed. Oh, all my mom's clothes is hung up. I didn't even notice that. I've been here for like a couple of hours. I very noticed this now. So, this is how it's looking. I wanted it cropped and staff and play cropped. I love that. Uh, yeah, I'm working on this sleeve. It's gonna go all the way down to here. So I have a long way to go. And again, the ribbon just takes so long, but oh, it's getting so cute. Also, I wanted to show you guys, if you're wondering, why do I keep going in between my mom's place and me and my boyfriend's place? Um, I'm working on something. Come look at this. Is this giving you anything? I'm not painting. I have been working on this for I don't even know how long. I'm finish I'm finishing this today. Yeah, it is kind of ugly because I had something crack over here, but my mom doesn't care when this goes up. You don't notice it that much. I hope. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Let's show you guys how it's looking. Probably get something to eat and work on the sleeve. I am so excited to work on the sleeve because like this ripping took so freaking long that I'm just excited to start working on a sleeve. Because it just goes... Of course it needs to be a lot longer than the body, but it's not as many uh, stitches, so I don't care. But yeah, I'm gonna take my other shirt on because I don't want this one to get dirty. Because look how cute it's looking. But yeah, I just quickly wanted to give you guys... Uh, oh my god. I just quickly wanted to give an update. This is how it's looking. It's cropped like I wanted it to, but also like... If I block it, I could definitely, like, make it full size. And my kitty is here! Oh, you are heavy. You have become a, become a big man. He was rubbing up against my leg and, like, how am I supposed to say no to that? How am I supposed to say no to that? I can't! So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this. Just wanted to give a little update. Okay, thank you for watching. Why am I ending this video? Why am I saying this like I'm ending the video? I'm so confused. Oh, cringe that much? But yeah. This is going to be so perfect for fall. This is my first time ever doing this. I am not trained. I don't know how you're supposed to do it properly. Um, but yeah. I did this. And is it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? No. But did I do it with my own two hands? Yes. And hopefully my mom likes it. Because I have spent way too long on this. And I don't even live in this house. Ow! Oh, just accidentally hit my hand on this thing right here. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Go back to my boyfriend. Hopefully we're gonna sleep. Stop watching YouTube. I have need I need to bring dinner with me home. Let, let's scavenge. Let's scavenge. What does my mom have that I can eat? And bring her home with me. Um I know she bought this one for me. So I'm definitely gonna eat that. Okay. That's the update. I did that thing. I'm gonna go home and eat now. And I'm really, really tired. Oh, I have an hour drive home. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's all for that. And is it professional? No. But am I professional? Also, no. So she's going to have to deal with that. I turned off the TV. It's official. I'm going home. Okay, ignore the end. Oh my. Ignore the Angelo in the bag while I talk. Cause I'm, can I pause it from this one? Ooh, I can! I need a new 5mm hook. This one is old, I think. I've had it for like 2 or 3 years. Which shouldn't be a problem if I didn't buy probably the cheapest hook I could get my hands on. I think I spent like 20 kroners on it, which is about. 
three dollars. I don't know, but I've started to have an issue. This is how it's supposed to look, right? But slowly, as I'm crocheting, this happens. Boop. Like, and I, I ain't no savage. I ain't gonna crochet without this thing on, but it's supposed to stay on, and it keeps falling off. I'm trying to decide with myself if I should either buy a new one or buy some super glue and try and see if I can super glue it in. So yeah, little problem right there. That keeps happening. Also, I'm back home. It's literally the exact same day as uh, me rambling and seeming like an insane person clip. Clip. Yeah. And now I'm chilling in bed with yarn tea, my teddy bear from my childhood, and my boyfriend's teddy bear from his childhood. Can you tell that me and my boyfriend has an age different difference? Because look at this. And look at this. The quality? Completely different. This teddy bear is older than me. Yeah, me and my boyfriend ha 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 has an age difference. In case you couldn't tell by, by our teddy bears, also, yes, like any adult couple, also, yes, like any adult couple, we keep our teddy bears in the bed. You never know when you like want to act like a child and chill with your teddy bear. You never know. It's pretty nice. I don't. I don't get adults who's like afraid to do childish things, cause like it makes adult life so much easier and comfortable and livable if you just do child stuff. Just saying. Like, it's the same thing with, like, I think there was a study at some point where it was, like, um, relationships where the people involved do, like, baby talk, talk or, like, something related to baby talk, like, develop some more, like, simple language with each other. Um, those relationships tend to be, like, happier or, like, lasting longer or something. I think it's the same with life. You live longer if you do baby talk. I have n for that statement. I have nothing to back it up. I just I'm just saying, if you sometimes act like a child, less stressors. And stressing has been known to be bad for your health. Uh, okay, I'm gonna watch D'Angelo talk about whatever the hell he's talking about right now, and do some crocheting. Speak to me. My man. I was trying to raise even more. We just <laughs> tired. It's not even 7 a.m. yet and I'm pretty sure I woke up before 5 and could not fall asleep. Um, anyway, I want to give you an update on the sweater. I ran out of yarn again and I tried to go back to the store to see, okay, can I buy some? Can I please buy some more yarn? It was sold out, right? So I had to go to Hobie's website. Luckily, I don't know how it is other places in the world but in Denmark it's basically you only have to wait like a day or two and I know in America they have like same day delivery and stuff like that that's not really a thing in Denmark how do I open this? I never shop online I'm so tired I need sleep but I also really want to be done with this sweater it's like perfect fall weather I want my sweater. Can you guys guess what I bought? Oh my god. I always forget to get these little candies. Update on the sweater. This is how it's looking. I'm almost done with the first sleeve and I'm halfway through the other. And like I said, 
I run out of yarn. I ran out of yarn again. Um, so that of course means I had to buy more. And are you surprised by the colors? We got two more of the browns. This might be a little bit too much. I don't care. I don't want to run out of yarn again. I'm tired of that. I bought two of, I bought two of these. The light one right here. Um, and then I bought one of the darker browns. Knitting is so... No, not crocheting is so fun. But you end up spending so much money on yarn for what should just have been a simple scrap project. But hey, it's my own fault for not having enough scraps. But this is going to be so cute when it's done. I can't wait to style this. I actually think maybe if I'm really good, I'll be able to finish this tonight and we can do it a full like style thing tomorrow. I basically only need like to do half a sleeve, but that I still need to do like the two cups on the sleeves and cups kind of take a long time. I don't know. I don't care. I'm tired. But it's looking so cute so far. in most of the ends I ended up with this beautiful thing right here and I'm actually I decided I wanted to wear it to school today so I'm just gonna put it on the sleeves are so long and I absolutely love it let's try and see if I can do it without ruining my makeup okay this is the sweater I don't know if it works with a turtleneck underneath but I really want the turtleneck underneath. Let's stand up. Oh, it's so dark when I close that door, but with the door open, it's like... I do like this. Yeah. Um, so let's quickly talk. I haven't vlogged this probably. I tried to do a little bit of vlogging, but I couldn't really make it work because I don't have any, like... This is acrylic and you need, like, um, steam. You need to plug it with steam when it's acrylic. You can't just wet it and lay it flat down. Um... But yeah, I don't have a steam machine and I try to use my iron, iron, my iron, my iron's steam method. Um, but yeah, nothing basically happened. But I would really like to steam this just to like get the front a little bit longer. But I don't know, maybe after a wash the fit will change a little bit. But I do really like it. I think it's so cute, so adorable. Um, my entire thing with this was that I wanted to be able to wear it with a cute skirt underneath and I definitely feel like the whole skirt thing is coming across perfectly. It's so cute, it's so cozy. And look at this, these big ass leaves. I will say the only problem I have with this is that one, this project was a yarn either project. It ate up so much freaking yarn. Like, I can't even fully explain to you how much yarn it ate up. Yeah, it ate up so much yarn. Um, and the only other thing I have is that I made the cuff, one of the cuffs tighter than the other, which isn't, like, obvious until, like, when it's on the body, when, when I take it off, it's, like, really obvious. I do think if I were to remake this, I would definitely make the neck hole tighter, probably more up here so I would like have had to remove this much of a neck hole that's like my only um, issues with this sweater I think it's so cute and I find I can't find anywhere that has to get enough lighting can we do it in here oh this is good why didn't I start in here this is this is it but yeah this is it. Look at how cute it is. Oh my god, it looks so cute on camera. It's so adorable. I really like it. I do feel like it fits best when I don't wear anything underneath it. But like, in person, it's not too bad with me wearing a turtleneck underneath. I just feel like the contrast on the camera makes it a little bit like too... Like, ooh. But in person, it's like, okay. 
and I really like this sweater. It's no fall. It's so cozy. It's really giving. It's truly really giving fall vibes. I love that for me. Um, I know this wasn't like a tutorial thing, but if you do want a tutorial on how to make this video, not how to make the video, how to make the shirt, um, then I don't know. Tell me in the comments, and I will probably make one. Most likely I won't make one in October because I have so many crochet plans for October but I would be interested in making one for um, November maybe this cutie right here in a grey or green, I love green my, my favorite colors are brown and green that's like my two favorite colors look at how cute this is! I made this! Um, but yeah um, I'm gonna take this to class um, and hopefully I get a bunch of cute and nice little compliments on my shirt. Yep, that's my plan. I want compliments on the thing I made. That's, oh yeah, I didn't weave in all of the ends. So we have an end sticking out right here. That's what was messing with my eye on camera. Um, please tell me in the comments that you like this. I only want um, compliments. In the comments. Don't say anything bad. Only give me compliments cuz look at this. Look how cute it is. I don't want to come too close cuz then you can see how bad my makeup is and I don't want you to see that. Actually, here. I, I want to be honest and true. Look at how bad my eyeliner is. Yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I am um, so excited about this. I feel like it turned out really great. It turned out exactly like how I wanted And yeah Again, if you would want a tutorial on how to make this tell me and I'll make one next month um, It's really simple. I don't even think you need one, but in case you do I'll, I wouldn't mind making one Because then I can make it in multiple colors um, Yeah that's it. That's the end of the video. I don't have anything more to say, <laughs> um, but I really would like to know what you guys have been making. Are you doing any cool projects? Knitting, crocheting, drawing, anything? Please tell me what you're working on in the description. No, in the comments. Anyway, let's do the quick uh, YouTuber rundown. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment. Tell me all the cool things you're doing. And other than that, I just hope you have a great day, honestly. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day, morning, evening, night, sleep, wherever on the time of day you are. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. Bye!